Hello, how's it going? It's uh, Liam here, Praxis Maxis. I'm not sure what I am now. This is me inside Patterns, which is uh, the new game from uh, Linden Labs, makers of Second Life, who have seemed to have uh, learned a few things from Mojang um, and have created this new game um, called Patterns. And I just installed it last night, moved around with it a bit, didn't get far, and now I'm. Uh, actually making a little bit of progress so I'm figuring some stuff out so you start out in this little pyramid I'll stop going really fast so you start off in this little pyramid and you those lighter bricks you break them the triangles and the whole thing about this game is that instead of just cubes you get different shapes but then you also have other things as well um, that kind of make it kind of very cool it's beautiful to look at it's got a they, they certainly have given taken got a unique look on it um, I mean it is definitely got echoes of Minecraft and they're the first ones to really admit that and I think we're gonna see a lot more of this like, okay so one of the things that I'm kinda of figuring out about um, patterns is that um, well one of the cool things is that the physics allows you to do um, do various things let's let you to build things and then move them so that they become other things so previously I did a bridge and I was so excited about how I did it when I got it working that I forgot to hit play on fraps or record on fraps to um, to actually make it work so here I've just seen a spot where I want to get down to that lower area down there just cuz I do and so I'm gonna build a bridge using what I think is dirt I don't even know if it'll work with dirt but here's how I did it. So I did the old Minecraft oops space bar and put a block below you kind of thing to build a and then eventually you get that sound and I think that sound means that what you're building is not oh structurally sound as you can see so there you go a lesson in building with dirt it's not very structurally sound very very cool very cool all right I think I need to get more brick and then I will be back and try again okay so we're gonna try this here my latest thing is I what I want to do is I want to make a wheel one that will actually roll and move and so you can make a wheel like object by using these um, triangular prisms, I guess. Well, I know that we call them that. So, like this. Um, you know, it looks like a true pursuit wheel. Like that. Problem is, it's rooted to the ground. So, what I've figured out is when you see, when you break something underneath and it drops, it suddenly becomes mo movable. And there's a wheel. Let me see if I can add a little. Uh, what happens if I add a wedge in? Ah, can I can't. I see. So let's see if I can make an actual full one that will roll all the way around. And what I'll do is I'll switch to a square or a cube. Put down a cube. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to need to be on a cube to do this. And then I'll switch back to the triangular prism and I'll put one down, one down. Like that. Oh, like that. I, I just learned something. I certainly did. If you press Q, which is probably what it says there, boom. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay. So, there's my fixed pedestal wheel type thing. Let me get out of the sun. I love the sky by the way. Sky's pretty cool here. Okay. And let me get the sun back. And let me if I so if I blast this out, this then um wheel. But it's really a one, two, three, four, five, six. It's really a hexagon. This hexagon will then begin to roll, will become movable. So let's make that happen. Nice. So now, let's see if I can push it. Cool! There we go! Woo! I just made a wheel. 
Seriously, I mean, how much fun would that be on an inclined plane? Like, if I build one, oh, I know where I'm building my next one. On top of that pyramid. Stay tuned for that one. So there you go, so that's how you build a wheel. And for my final trick, I'm going to see if I can knock it over on its side. Yeah, I can. Very cool. So here we are with my wheel, take two. So last time I made a wheel, um, I did it on the ground, and I was able to make the wheel part active by building it on a pedestal and then breaking the pedal still bit, bit underneath. And then if it, something drops, then that makes it... Um, sort of active that you can move it. So here we go. What I'm going to do is I actually have made a wheel using the triangular prisms and I'm going to take out that cube underneath and hopefully it will roll down the steps and roll across the field, which I think would be pretty cool. Um, here we go. There it goes. Nice. So there you can see, so now that is an active wheel that you can push and roll around on and kick and even knock over as you can see. So that's pretty cool, that's a really cool feature that I think we'd have a lot of fun with um, and has very many applications.